Welcome back to the Steady Soul. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Jamaica people, at a time when we are here, I wonder if Mark Golden head sick. Or do you not know, see what I go on? Mark double sick, but Andrew Tone double doctor. Big up Andrew Holness. Introducing the most honorable Prime Minister, Dr. Andrew Holness. Listen, me know no Jamaica people no funny about title. Or do put in the comment right now what the title is supposed to be. Because they don't know. Me a doctor, I don't know. What a proud piece of news coming out of Jamaica. Oh no, listen man, me see this piece of news man nationwide. What a strategic time to introduce this good piece of news to us. So, make we read the news and then we go and do some analysis. So, Prime Minister Andrew Holness has earned a Doctor of Philosophy degree in Law and Policy. Law and Policy? We don't know who no love keep Law and Policy. Andrew, make sure say he must study of his send back Mark Golden to him people them in a Britain, but he in a Jamaica try enslave. Go on a Burger King, Mark Golden. He pursued his studies at Northeastern University in Boston. Prime Minister Holness told Nationwide News that he started the studies online just after COVID hit. Me glad say no tell it glean at him. <laughs> He calls it a lifelong achievement. Dr. Holness is the first Jamaican Prime Minister to earn a doctorate. Round of applause. Great job. If man did have one doctorate, he would make the people them dead for hungry in the 70s. If PJ did have a doctorate, they would have so much scandal. If Mark Golden did have a doctorate, they would have turned over the whole of Jamaica through Finshack. Mark Golden, go get your doctorate. You can't talk to Andrew Holness. He completed his thesis on the impact of U.S. gun laws on violence in Jamaican society. Very interesting. I have to talk about that. His thesis also detailed factors which have led to violence over the years in society, including loose gun laws and active participation. The Prime Minister is set to graduate next year. Proud achievement. Well done. Well done. Dr. Andrew Michael Holness. So two things more I talk about is the first part of what he studied. The impact of U.S. gun laws on violence in Jamaica. So we just had one school shooting the other day again, you know. And you know that the politics over this country is heavily about the gun laws, loose gun laws. So there was a time when you had to meet certain criteria. No, you can just go in our store, show an ID, and you can get gun for buy. Enough of these things. Enough of them something here. They happen in a black states. So you know, say, I think down in Alabama was support. It happened in quite a number of states. So when you put the gun in the hands of people who generally now do too well economically or whatever, what do you think is going to happen? When you make it so easy, the gun has now become a business tool. A business people are using gun right now. No? Contract dirting is a business. The other day when I see where people are sell gun in a restaurant, you go want a gun, you know. You remember when the lottery scamming came? And everybody been a pre money. Where you think start happen? Bad mind jumping, jealousy jumping. Every youth now have to get protection. People start hire man with dirt people until people realize say, well, if them a protect the man who have met the money, then the best thing you need for do is dirt the man and get the money. So the man with the money, him now have to get fame weapon. And when you have money. With loose gun laws, a problem. I don't see the shipment of gun them were coming at Jamaica. So, I don't say Andrew no care about crime and he's not trying, you know. But the truth of the matter is, criminality is something that we glorify in our culture. It's a part of what we do and who we are. Rich badness is now a thing. Like, who could have seen that coming up through the 90s and the early 2000s? We have a prime minister that is looking out for the country and who wants to resolve. Enough of the issue them. But do a video on Sunday and 
but outline some of the cutting edge things that the prime minister needs to do to really get a handle on crime make sure you say when to check out the video there we've heard stories about politicians who used to issue guns because you see you see this thirst for power it it messes up so many things and unfortunately yeah some people in society they are so immoral and weak and so thirsty for power that they're willing to destroy the society just so that they can feel powerful and usually it's not powerful people that do it it's the weak people who want to get power the man for the job is here the very best prime minister growing the economy upgrading himself upgrading his skills expanding his knowledge as to what's going on so that things can be enforced and put in place policies that really tackle the issue of crime and violence in our country in a very meaningful way you see them keep bunting the job already bunting ball mark gold in them none of them care about these things just look at the places that these guys preside over and the lack of care and the development today may i talk to somebody and may i tell you no real development and people still vote for it sensible jamaicans want to see things like this it's a sign that the country is moving in the right direction and we would be very foolish to vote in back a pmp government who has always been inept at growing the economy and tackling crime we're going to talk about the second part of the thing active participation so you know thesis detailed factors which led to violence over the years in society including loose gun laws and active participation like me say you know because we we are so quick to take up the gun many things just happen so if we can't solve relationship problems the gun people hurt with feelings when i have no training for deal with, with emotions gun woman give bun gun man give woman bun gun people are uh, forget rid of their enemy get them possessions get them things people bad mind people and just now if you see them prosper then get the gun or them find somebody who are deal with the guns people who put so much like today we see something coming at the news these days when i hear say a young youth drop out you hear how much people him the dirt before in drop out like when did we get to a place in a society parents one time when parents used to discipline picnic on the need for go at church on the need for do this and that even if you not going or you send them because they must learn certain basic things that's why most people if i even when them get older in a life them go back to the church we need to start value life again man the youth them need to understand that the, the answer is not in the gun material things are good but you can't be doing you can't be killing people and take for what for, for a nice car or a house or some clothes or to get some clothes what is clout man what about building a decent life choose a woman you understand me where you can have your pick them with and do things that just make your life happy what's what someone who want out of life so why on so why on so unhappy what makes someone so unhappy woman can't satisfy you know money can't satisfy you know a badness you no know, love a prison life some of love what really are going on with some of you youths yes i said to you so andrew holness is looking at these things the factors are endless and politicians keeping the garrisons poor for political purposes and then no then look upon the facts so when you keep people poor then go find people for dig down you're basically a breed people for go pick up the gun to get things when them get hungry so people this tell we you know say we have to look out for the people them that we're voting for because listen a politician in the u.s why we have loose gun laws you know because the people that people vote for you know so people keep voting against their own self-interest people keep voting against single issue voter so you know like one thing over here so so you're gonna use that to vote and all the other things that could, could go bad by electing bad politicians or now go ignore it that's why i'm gonna say that the election that we have come up in a jamaica of a sensible people who want let me tell you man if you don't allow Mark Gold in them to, to, to come back in a power and shell down Jamaica, I don't want them, you know. So, 
if this is a set of Jamaica you allow people to come in and vote in back the PMP government. This is like how Ratigan them tell people for not send money come to Jamaica and no for uno na go name no food again about to beg people, you know. When they go out, they go vote in politicians who are who who everybody knows they wreck Jamaica and get the one in them every day. I will still go and vote for them. We understand in a garrison. Like just like the, the, the person was saying to me, people choose the free light and them choose the free water and them choose the short term gains. So the politicians them who create these garrisons and maintain these garrisons, them are criminal minded politicians too, you know. Don't ever look on it that way. If the laws in Jamaica operated the way they're supposed to, you know how much politician would have got prison? But we don't think about those things. But what does I say? We see where the Prime Minister's heart is. I'm mean, telling you something. If Jamaica fails when it comes on to crime, you can't blame the Prime Minister because people are shield them son, them daughter, them boyfriend, them girlfriend, them friend, them brethren, people in the community. People know people who are the things. But people are willing to see lawlessness go on if they are not affected. But lawlessness affects everybody at some point. Some of them are thinking about to pick them out on the ground, pick them where come up behind them, you know. And the kind of monster them where they are support, you know. Long after enough of them politicians are gone, you know. They got in a problem, you know. Everybody in the world right now, they have to buckle up in terms of how they manage them country and them economy. We have a prime minister that's doing well right now. We can't afford to vote out a government that is taking care of the people or else the people are going to pay. Big up again to Andrew Holness. Proud achievement and this tells us that you are aligned with the job that is on the ground. You understand what is needed in the third term as a prime minister and you have prepared yourself and jamaica let's stand behind them but proud proud moment dr andrew holness Send the family to go in the comments and let me know what you think like share and subscribe steady